Hello everyone, my name is Ingolf Leader 2, or is it Joe, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your first Minecraft plugin. So the first thing you're going to need is Java Eclipse, and if you do not have it installed, well I'll leave the information how to install it below, or if this video gets enough support and a lot of people want to see it, I'll make a tutorial on how to install it and put it into your system. So let's begin. The first thing I want you to do is go to File, New, Java Project, and we're going to name this YouTube Tutorial. Number one, finish. We'll say don't create. And the first thing that happens is that you'll have a project file with a jar file of a bunch of useless stuff you don't need to know about and a source. So the first thing you should do whenever you're making, whenever you're making your plugin is you wanna make a package. What I like to do is I'd say me dot engulf or your name, we'll just say your name, in this case, my name will be in Gold Theater 2, dot YouTube tutorial one. Right now, I'll just change the your name to in Gold Leader, and that's the first package. Now, the next thing you need to do when creating this package is create a class under it. What you'll do is you'll right click it, you'll click new, you'll create class. And we'll call this um, we'll call this main. Now the name of this thing isn't really that big of a deal, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be calling every our first class inside this main. Now, one thing you have to do whenever you're creating a project is implement a build path. In this case, we will be adding a library. external jar and we'll be adding a spigot jar file if you want more information i'll set i'll put the links down below for all the download stuff you'll need for this now one more thing before our project continue is this will be a typical setup for every project is we'll have to change the property of our thing so you'll see in our java build path if you go to um libraries you'll see something called java sc-113 what we'll have to do is we'll edit it and we'll change it to Java 1.8. This will make it applicable for Minecraft. And now our project is set up and ready to go. To continue this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to add a, an extension to our thing called Extends Java Plugin. This will put a nice red underline and you should be able to import something called import Java plugin org.bucket dot plugin dot java okay now with that set up we'll have to add a a method our two methods would be public void on enable and public void on disable this is basically saying when the plugin is activated it will do this and when the plugin turns off it will do this one thing to add, one thing you'll do so that way it knows that this is what we're working with. We'll add a at override. For reasons being, where I'm not going to explain exactly what this means, but understand this is very important. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a we're going to register events. So when you're creating a plugin, um, this is kind of a default, but you're going to get a you're going to make a get server dot get plugin um, manager dot register events and we'll call it this and this this will create us a oh register events capital E Another thing we'll add onto this is we'll make a plugin manager pm equals bucket dot get plugin manager. And we'll close this off. We'll import our our thing. 
We'll see why this is not working and we'll implement a listener. Implement listener. This will allow this to listen to the things we need it to do. Now, a lot of times um, coders will do things to make their code much easier. But since this is a purpose tutorial and this is for beginners, we'll do a very simple thing to allow us to access our stuff. This dot get command. We'll call this command for now. Dot set executor new. And so we're making a command called heal, we'll call it heal. This will end our method. So the point of the word command is to say, this is the command we'll be putting inside of it. This is the information we're putting inside. What we'll do is we'll, we'll go to the highlight here and we'll click create class. This is a pop up of a little window right here. We'll make it a little bigger for you guys to see. And we'll go to our package type and we'll, dot, we'll type a dot command at the end of it. Let's take a brand new package and a new method with a bunch of, bunch of brand new information or a bunch of um, information for command inside here. We'll go to this dot to do. And the first thing we're gonna do when creating this thing is we're gonna add our, by default it should create this, but if it's not, you will have a public Boolean, which a Boolean means true or false. When we type this command, our command sender, which will be, we'll change this to sender. Our command, we'll put this as cmd. Our string, which we'll put it as a label. And string args, and we'll just make this arg. Args. Save. Now, when creating this thing, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a few different methods for us to understand what we're dealing with. We'll make a player, player, equals sender. Now, oftentimes, it doesn't understand that this is a player or understand what this is supposed to be. Cause it's, so we'll have to cast a, a element under saying, this is the player, understand that, do not go against it, this is the player. And now it understands this sender is a player. This would be any player on the server that has implemented method saying that any player on the server who types this command will be able to do it. The next thing I wanna do is make an if statement. If, Label dot equals uh, ignore case heal. Label, my bad, not label, label. We will say do this. This is basically saying if person to type slash heal, you will do this into the It'll do this right back at this will do what you want it to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is make an if statement saying heal us please. Or we'll make a um we'll make sure the command works. Player dot send message. You have been healed. For now the purpose of this is to say that it's gonna tell us that we have been healed. It doesn't really have a purpose behind it, but it's just to make sure that this is exactly working. We'll go back to our main method. We'll make sure there's no errors anywhere. There's no errors. And we'll do one more thing into this scenario. So we'll go to our YouTube tutorial. We'll right click. We'll click new. We'll click file. And we'll call this a plugin.yml. This will create a brand new thing at the bottom, and this will be where we put all our information for our plugin. So for the name of this, we're going to call this um, YouTube tutorial, tutorial one. We'll put the version as 1.0. We'll put the description to heal players. And we'll put the author as myself. You can put your own name inside this. We'll just put your name, I guess, because it doesn't really matter. And then we'll make it so it calls this. So we'll put me dot your name, whatever you put for your thing. So if you put me dot Sandy, me dot Sandy, me dot Gulf Leader, me dot Jacob, me dot whatever. And we'll put 
it has to be exact capital letters. So you have to follow exactly what you put before me dot engulf leader dot YouTube tutorial one dot main. So this should follow exactly what you put right around this area down here. So if you look at your main method, it'll be me dot engulf leader two dot YouTube tutorial, and you'll put dot main, which is what the class is saying. One more thing we're gonna put inside here. We'll add one more section. We'll add a command section. Two spaces. We'll call this heal. Enter. Two spaces. Description. To heal players. And we'll do usage. Slash heal. We'll go back to our main method and we'll change this command to heal. Lowercase or capital doesn't really matter, but we'll stick to everything lowercase so nothing gets messed up. So once we do type our slash heal command, it will get sent to our heal section. It will make sure not, it doesn't really care if it's capital or case here. Doesn't really matter. And then it'll do the command. So what we'll do is we will export this in a section I will export it to our server real quick to make sure it works I just don't want uh, plugins and we'll call this YouTube tutorial one so while that's being put inside the system I'll be right back and I will show you the next step Okay, so we are back now, and hopefully when you're at this step, uh, we'll have to do one correction. Whenever you're exporting your plugin in any place, make sure you properly put the name as the, the name of the actual project. So I have YouTube Tutorial 1, YouTube Tutorial 1. Make sure it's saved. Finish, okay. And make sure it matches your plugin.yml, YouTube Tutorial 1. Also make sure after each statement, there's a colon after each one. So version, colon, description, colon, author, colon, and everything. So we're on to the next section. We'll go to the do this part because we already know what happens um, here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if args dot length equal equals zero player or we'll say player because we have lower because we're saying player from here player dot send message chat color dot gray plus you have been healed and if this is if this is not light for you, there's an implementation right here. Or if this doesn't exist, what you'll do is same thing as before. You click over it, you'll see a little thing. Import chat color org dot bucket. And we're gonna test it out real quick. Make sure it's working fine. We'll go to our Minecraft server. Slash heal. You have been healed. Okay, we'll go back to our thing and we'll add a few more things. So we'll add a player dot set health to 20.0. And we'll add a player dot set food level to 20. What I'll do now is I'll log into the server. I will give myself a flint and steel and a stack of sand. And before I do that, I'm going to export. I don't remember if I did this. I'm going to export the plugin into the thing, into our server. If you want to try to do this too, I'll be more than happy to help you guys set up your server for your testing purposes. We'll type slash reload. 
so the plugin is fine. We should just do a red error, do slash heal. It should be gray now. Slash game mode survival. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll jump off. And our health has dropped. Oh no! Let's slash heal ourselves. There we go. You have been healed. We can also set ourselves on fire. Take lots of fire damage. Freaking out. Slash heal. Oh, wait a minute. So we have one more thing we need to add to this code. We have it so when we take whenever as you can all see when our hunger falls, so whenever we heal ourselves, our hunger goes up and our health goes up. We don't have anything for fire. So I'll hop right back into our code. We'll see a quick easy thing. Player dot set or well, set fire tick. Ticks zero. And it should get rid of the issue if we take any fire damage. There we go. We'll do slash reload. We'll burn ourselves real quick. Take a lot of damage. We'll run around a little bit. Chop our hunger down. And slash heal. Our fire is gone. Our hunger is backed up. And we're full health. So that is all we have to do here. So thank you very much for stopping in and tuning into this Minecraft tutorial. If you want more tutorials, be sure to like this video. Please comment below what else you want me to do. Please tell me if there's anything else you want me to add on to this, some cooler things we can do, and I'll be sure to make a tutorial about it. And I'll teach you guys. Thank you very much, and have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.